Crystal by Bitfury is a blockchain analytics service that makes the process of cryptocurrency investigations much easier and more effective. As an example of how to use Crystal for such tasks, let's look at the real case of the hacking of Zafe Exchange in 2018. Exchange representatives officially reported that unauthorized access was gained on September 14th between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. As a result, 5,966 Bitcoin were stolen. At the first stage of investigations, it is important to compare the information provided by the exchange with the movements on the blockchain to try to find the hacker's addresses. So let's begin our investigation. In the search bar, we type ZAFE and click on the entity name in the drop-down list. What you see now is a typical Crystal entity page. It contains information about the entity's addresses, entity type, and statistics on transactions and connections. In this particular case, we are interested in the transaction table, so let's click on the corresponding tab. To search for specific transactions, you can use table filtering. For example, let's select September 14th as a one-day period and sort the table by volumes in descending order. In the resulting table, several large transactions are noticeable. Looking through the details, we can see that the destination address for all of the transactions is the same. Let's click on it. As we can see, this address received 5,966 Bitcoin, which converges with the exchange report. It can be more convenient to use the visualization tool rather than work with bar tables and numbers. You can find this tool by just clicking on the visualization button. Now you are looking at the interface of the tool. Here addresses and transactions are represented by circles and lines. Let's choose our transaction and explore input addresses by checking the corresponding checkboxes. To minimize manual work in cases where funds are divided into several chains, we created a specific tool to track coin flow automatically. All you need to do is give the set of initial transactions. To see how this tool works, let's copy the hash of our transaction, move to the tracking page, and paste the hash into the corresponding field. Then you should click the Setup Tracking button. It usually takes time to view the result, but in this case, we'll go directly to the Prepared Results page. Now you can see a table with information about all the addresses that have received funds from the initial transaction. It allows you to see all entities reached by the tracked coins. Let's look at the withdrawal to Binance exchange path in more detail by clicking on the path icon. Here we can see the main current of funds with all intermediate addresses and transactions. Let's also look at a saved visualization of a part of the withdrawal chain. Binance allows unverified users to withdraw up to 2 bitcoins per day. But as we can see on the visualization, it wasn't a problem for the hacker to create a number of accounts and withdraw coins using each account. To be sure that the ending address belongs to Binance, we can match it with the address indicated on Binance's official Twitter channel. You can read more about this crystal investigation in our article on Medium. Thank you for watching this video. To learn more about Crystal Analytics, please visit our website and follow us on social media.